I am very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group called Men in Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. Go over there, find some money games, find some lab partners, have a great time, converse with some people that have the same interest as you. I'm over there. You can message me. Overall, just a great time. Really recommend you check it out. And let's get into the video. Hello and welcome back to another video on the channel. I'm sorry for not uploading for a couple of days. I've been really busy just trying to open some get a pl get some pl get a player packs in ultimate team if you don't know those are the ones with 500 coins it's just been trying to i've been trying to create a mathematical model that's been taking a lot of time really a lot of uh tracking what i pull and everything like that i will release that within let's say the next two days and I'll explain to you guys what i did it's really helpful in my opinion i'm gonna try to do some uh some of this work with some other methods but for now we're back on the trip side and grind and this is one of the best plays in the entire formation I would even say that is probably the play you should run most often it is going to be curve flat and I'm only going to talk about this play in this uh, video but it is so flexible you really are gonna love it so what do we want to do uh, we want to make sure that we have our right correct personnel we want a quarterback with gunslinger we want a running back with a uh, backfield master and we want a tight end with tight end apprentice. I say that every video just so you know what you need. So curve flat is going to be our play. And the first setup, I'll, I'll, run, I'll run everything as 25 odd one out. Um, so the first play that I'm going to show you is some, something that one of my friends uh, flew in in one of the streams. All you have to do is just streak the tight end, uh, not streak the tight end, put the tight end on an out route and quick hike it. That is an absolute quick hike setup. It is so easy to run now what are the reads on this the reads are to the out route angle or you if you want to wait right there the post is also there for you it really is just a quick hike setup um you want to run this especially uh in the uh, after the two minute warning uh, when you can hike the ball within three seconds that's when this setup really flourishes but in my opinion this is not something that you can run if your opponent gets time to adjust because this in my opinion this can be very easily stopped this is not the most powerful setup but it is one that you should definitely look to throw in at some points just because it can really annoy your opponent so now let's get back to our my first main setup uh actually not my bad let's go to beating man coverage let's go cover two man how do we beat man of this there are a couple of routes that are really amazing I absolutely love the Hopkins route, I love uh, the running back route, and that's pretty much where it stops, but we can put a crosser on Kittle, make sure we have 90 medium route running on him, we can smart route Hopkins, we can put Kittle on a Texas route, if we keep him on the route that he's on, he's gonna run the same route, this, almost the same route, but this one I like a little bit better, and then we can put Thomas on a drag, and yeah, maybe put Jones on H. Then we're gonna see that... The crosser wins. Damn. <laughs> I mean, this just won, but it, it got absolutely destroyed uh, with the press. So let's try that again. Ready to man. Let's try that again. Boom. Snap the ball. So we can see the tight end wins. And circle wins also. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Also, for you guys' information, I just streamed. We can leak uh, just before uh, turning on the recording button. I'm pissed right now. So this might I might I might just not be the most fun person right now doing recording this. But one more time, cover two man. Please, for the love of God, get open. No, he's not gonna get open. <laughs> Circle is not gonna get open. But cross is gonna get open. The angle is gonna be open. And guys, please believe me when I say uh, this circle route does get open. Just not right now because I'll try one more time. But I I, I really don't think that it's gonna get open. <sighs> one more time i really am annoyed oh my god i even shaded the wrong way but okay right there it took him forever to get off the press but finally we made it work so that is uh, that is the man beat out of this yeah one more thing uh, that i might want to point out sometimes uh, the corner out from the tight end can also beat man coverage you want to smart route it if you want to want it to beat man coverage and then you can try to pass lead it with an outside Pass lead, it's not always going to work, but if maybe your tight end is going up against the safety, that is something that is possible right there. Gotta say, it didn't look too pretty. I'll try it one more time. But this will be another man-beating setup. Okay, boom. Pass lead away from him. So right there, you can see if we have enough of an outside advantage, then we can make that work. Otherwise, be careful when throwing that smart route uh, corner out. But the post from Hopkins works perfectly fine. 
should work perfectly fine because right there you saw he got absolutely boxed. So, let's go to the next setup. Streak the tight end, smart route Hopkins, put McCaffrey on a flat route, motion Jones across and then put him on a slant. Motion snap him. Now this read is fairly simple. We are all familiar with this read. Are we not guys? Say it with me. Take the flat if you can. If you can if you see the running back open, immediately immediately take it. Of course not on maybe a fourth and twenty-four, but any regular down distance go for the running back. Then now if we let this play continue, we can see how we can throw that slant drop pretty easily. Uh, that is one thing that I really enjoy throwing with a low pass because that means that we have a little bit of a better angle to throw the ball. And the last read is going to be the smart route to post. This gets to a really nice spot in my opinion. I really like where this route ends up. So right there we can see. Boom. Very nice. But for now, that is uh, the pro that's probably my favorite setup. I'll run this one more time. You, you don't even have to put uh, McCaffrey on a... Don't even have to put him on a uh, flat route, but yeah, you can see me. I'm throwing that ball, and now we'll we'll get into a little bit more uh, creative stuff. So we're gonna put Hopkins on a drag. We want to put Thomas on a hitch, and we want to put Jones on a smoke screen. This is especially good against cover three. If we want, we can put McCaffrey on an angle route, or we can keep him blocked. That is, that are those are our two options. But I'm gonna put him on an angle route, and right there you can see I can throw it to the hitch. The running back was open and had I waited a little bit longer, I also would have had the, uh, actually, uh, yeah, boom, not bad, so, there you go, if we wait a little bit longer, we can also throw that corner out, that of course depends on your opponent's zone drops, just have to be patient with it, don't throw this route too early, otherwise it's pretty easily picked, be careful with that one, but in general, I would say, uh, that's, this corner out also has some merit. I see a lot of people not really utilizing it. Uh, bad throw by me right there. I should, I should have checked it down right there. I was just trying to see if I could fit that in. But obviously not. Um, what was I going to say? A lot of people don't really use that corner out from the tight end. And it's a tra tragedy because I feel like this is something that you should definitely use right there. I check it down smartly. And on the left side, please do not forget that you have the hitch. That is often one thing that... You might forget because you only look at the corner out. Right there you can see me throwing that with a low pass. Possession catch go down. And very very easy. Now let's talk about something that is a little bit more interesting. Because that is something that I've noticed a lot of people do against me. Is they want is they smart route Hopkins and they motion across. This is now a cover 3 beater. You need a really fast tight end for this. The issue is oh my god. This looks bad. A lot of people have been running this on me though actually. Uh, let me try this again. If it doesn't work, then it, uh, it might just be out of another play. But that is, I should have really tested this beforehand. But um, I'll try it again. Okay, never mind. Okay, this is not a cover three beater. But yeah, I, f I feel really stupid right now. Never mind that. Uh, yeah, let's go back to another setup that I really enjoy. Uh, enjoy, I say enjoy way too much. Uh, you want to streak the kill, uh, kill, you want to make sure that Hopkins is smart routed, you want to put the running back on this flat route. And now, on the right side, it's the same as in previous plays, and then on the left side, we just want to read whether the flat is open or the curl flat. Uh, not the curl flat, the curl. For example, this just now was curl flat, let's now go hard flat, you will see how we now can wait a little bit longer. And now this window is opened up where we can throw that uh, curl with a low pass, feel really comfortable about that throw. I'll do it one more time just to show you guys. Right there, I can throw it to circle or to square. I'm going to throw it to circle this time. Possession catch it along the sidelines. Beautiful. Now, that is pretty much all there is to say about this play. This video was pretty short. I really went through the, those setups really quickly. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's go through them again. What was the first one I broke down? Oh, yeah, right. I forgot. This one right here, the man beater. Then the second one that I went through, I'm really setting myself up for failure right now. Oh, I, I got just the out route. There you go. Because it's not bad if I don't remember the exact order that I did them in. But there you go. That's third setup. And the fourth setup is boom. I guess fourth and fifth. Whatever. Just forget about the numbers. Those are the setups. Uh, one more setup I had. Uh, no, actually, I guess two more. Boom. That's setup number six, I think. And then if we reset the play, 
that is setup number seven so those are all the setups that i want to show you guys this is one of the most flexible plays you can run uh, or plays in general you can beat any coverage with this maybe except for one play touchdowns like we just saw it's maybe not the greatest one play touchdowns but if you want to just move the ball down the field without one play touchdowns this play is the play, is the play for you very flexible i like i really enjoy running this this is a play that has kind of uh, grown on me. This is not something that I used to do a lot when I first started running this scheme, but now I feel way more comfortable in it. And this is one of my favorite plays in this entire offense. That's why I wanted to dedicate a whole video to it, even though this video is not that long, at about 11 minutes. I still feel like we did this play justice. Now, I am out of here. I am tired. This weekend league streaming was annoying. I'm losing to people I really should not be losing to, but that's a story for another time. Thank you very much for taking the time of your day to watch me uh, explain this play to you. Hopefully, you're going to have success. I'll uh, watch out for the next parts of the trip side. And I think about two or three more videos on this. And then we'll have the ebook done. Everything I do is for free. So, if you guys enjoy it, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.